incentivizes people to create pages where they can churn out very, very inciting comments and conspiracy theories that can have a tremendously negative effect on someone's mental health, um, their physical safety. Now here's the part where we're trying to see him outside. Now the insider stated, and I quote, he's concerned she's become emotionally unstable, but she insists that she's finally seeing clearly. What you mean emotionally unstable? Hmm? What effect did the depression have on your marriage? Well, it gave everybody a wonderful new label. It's Diana's unstable. It seems there is something deeply sinister going on with the royal family and Kate Middleton's recent disappearance. And now we're hearing that Meghan Markle has reportedly reached out to Kate to warn her and remind her about what happened to Princess Diana when she publicly went against the firm. A lot of people are now saying the same and accusing the royal family of doing to Kate what they allegedly did to Princess Diana and what Harry put a stop to happening to Meghan. There are a lot of bizarre details in this story, from rumors that the royals are soft launching William's alleged mistress, Rose Hanbury to claims that Kate suffered a nervous breakdown. There's a lot to unpack, so let's get into it. I don't think many people would want me to be queen. Actually, when I say many people, I mean the establishment that I'm married into, because they've decided that I'm a non-starter. Because I do things differently, because I don't go by a rule book, because I lead from the heart, not the head. So in case you're out of the loop, this royal drama started back in January when Kensington Palace announced that Kate Middleton was in the hospital, recovering from a planned abdominal surgery. The palace said in a statement that, based on the current medical advice, Kate was unlikely to return to public duties until after Easter. However, they assured the public the surgery went well. At first, nobody had any reason to doubt the palace's story. But then, just days after the official announcement, Spanish media reported that Kate was admitted to the hospital back on December 28th and that her condition was extremely serious. As soon as this report made its rounds, the internet started connecting dots and multiple people swore they saw a royal convoy heading towards a London hospital on December 28th. And then a few days later, Spanish media came back with another bombshell, claiming that Kate was in a coma. However, the palace swooped in and quickly shut this down, calling the coma allegations ludicrous. And the following day, the palace released another statement claiming that Kate had returned home to Windsor to continue her recovery from surgery. Now here's where things start to get really strange. All throughout February, there was pretty much radio silence when it came to updates about Kate. But then on March 4th, TMZ dropped this paparazzi photo allegedly showing Kate and her mom in a car. However, the quality of the photo is so bad that you can't really make out if this is really Kate, even if you zoom in. So when this photo failed to hit the mark, the royal family decided to give it another shot, but it didn't exactly go as planned. In fact, it ended up fueling all the conspiracies even more. On March 10th, which is Mother's Day in the UK, Kate and William's official Instagram account shared this photo of Kate looking healthy and happy posing with her three children. And at first glance, it's just your regular, wholesome royal family portrait. Well, turns out there's a whole laundry list of issues with this supposedly regular photo. The image, put out by Kensington Palace, is the first glimpse of Princess Catherine since her last public appearance on Christmas Day. The only problem, it had been edited. By the end of the day, major international news agencies had withdrawn the image citing manipulation concerns. Just hours after the royals shared the questionable photo, three major picture agencies, Reuters, Associated Press, and Getty, issued what's known as a kill notice, advising everyone to stop using the photo. The message from the AP said, at closer inspection, it appears that the source has manipulated the image, but what happened next was even more bizarre. After the photo was pulled by all major picture agencies, Kensington Palace shared this strange message on their ex account, a message that we're supposed to believe was written by Kate, claiming that she edited the photo. Like many amateur photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. I wanted to express my apologies for any confusion the family photograph we shared yesterday caused. I hope everyone celebrating had a very happy Mother's Day. C. So they're saying Kate, fresh out of surgery, is supposedly facetuning photos, and then the palace picks this obviously edited photo to share for Mother's Day? That's the narrative they're pushing? And if Kate really had surgery, why not just say it and leave it at that? What was the point of posting that AI photo? But believe it or not, the palace didn't stop there. As people online 
online continued to speculate about Kate's whereabouts, the royals decided to release this short video, claiming that a member of the public filmed Katie and William shopping earlier this week. So now we're supposed to believe that Kate had major abdominal surgery that was so serious she can't go back to her royal duties for another month. However, she's feeling well enough to go shopping and carry a large bag. Needless to say, no one is buying that the people in that video are Kate and William. But are you ready for another bombshell? Whispers are now going around that Kate didn't actually have surgery. Instead, according to the rumor mill, this all happened because Kate allegedly caught William cheating. Talk about a son following in his father's footsteps, right? People are now also accusing the palace of trying to quietly introduce Will's alleged mistress, Lady Rose Hanbury. See, on the same day they dropped that sketchy AI photo, several British news outlets suddenly decided to shine a spotlight on Lady Rose. For example, The Independent published this glowing article, gushing over her sense of style and her connections to the royal family. By the way, this is not the first time William was linked to Rose. Back in 2019, In Touch claimed that Kate allegedly found out Will was sneaking around with Rose while she was pregnant with Prince Louis. Now, rumors aside, people are saying this whole situation is extremely sinister when you think about the royal family's long history of treating the women who marry into the firm as disposable breeding machines. After all, we all know how they treated Princess Diana because Diana herself spoke about it publicly. The campaign was being waged against Yes, I did, absolutely. Yeah. Why? Mm, I was a separated wife to the Prince of Wales. I was a problem, full stop. Never happened before. What do we do with her? Can't we pack her off to somewhere quietly rather than campaign against mm. her? She won't go quietly. That's the problem. I'll fight till the end. Mm. How did that show itself? By visits abroad being blocked, by uh, things that had come naturally in my way being stopped, letters going, got lost and various things. So despite the fact that your interest was always to continue with your duties, you found that your duties were being held from you? Yes. The campaign was, in that point, was being successful. But it did surprise the, the people who were causing the grief. It did surprise them when I took myself out of the game. They hadn't expected that. And I'm a great believer that you should always confuse the enemy. Who was the enemy? <clears throat> well, the enemy was my husband's department because I always got more publicity. Uh, my work was, m m was discussed much more than him. I think every strong woman in history has had to walk down a similar path and I think it's the strength that causes the confusion and the fear. Why is she strong? Where does she get it from? Where is she taking it? Where is she going to use it? I am a free spirit. Unfortunately for Sam. To this day, many believe that the royal family and British secret services orchestrated Diana's death so that Charles could marry his mistress Camilla. With Diana alive, the public would have never accepted Camilla as their queen. Now, rumor has it that this was also the main reason Prince Harry stepped down from his royal duties and moved with his wife Meghan Markle to the US. Both Diana and Meghan were smeared all over the British papers, and shockingly, it looks like the palace might be trying to do the same to Kate. Reports recently surfaced with sources supposedly close to the royal claiming that Prince William believes Kate is emotionally unstable. The National Enquirer quoted a senior palace source who said that Kate's desperate struggle with the constant pressures of life in the royal fishbowl has clearly taken a terrible toll on her physical and mental health. She spent weeks staying out of the public eye after her operations, and it's only strengthened her resolve to quit, the source said, adding that William is beside himself over Kate's decision to stop performing her royal duties. He made sure she knew what she was getting into when she married him and she's done a brilliant job, the source said. He's concerned she's become emotionally unstable, but she insists she's finally seeing clearly. So if this really came from a palace source, it sounds like they're setting the stage to paint Kate as crazy while absolving William of any responsibility. It's like Princess Diana's situation all over again. What effect did the depression have on your marriage? Well, it gave everybody a wonderful new label. It's Diana's unstable and Diana's um, mentally imbalanced, and unfortunately that seems to have stuck on and off over the years. And now Meghan Markle is adding her two cents, with sources close to Meghan saying that she's genuinely worried for Kate despite their past differences. One source told The Mirror that Meghan has reached out to Kensington Palace several times via back channels in an effort to connect with Kate. Apparently Meghan is trying to warn Kate because she believes she's in real danger and that history might be repeating itself. And it looks like a lot of people share this sentiment. One user said, being truthful about Kate's real situation means admitting that Diana and Meghan were right. The Windsors are an emotional meat grinder for women who 
who marry into that snake pit. And another person wrote, honestly, at this point, I'm sincerely worried for Kate Middleton. They blamed this entire photo nonsense on her, which is pretty awful and ridiculous. That family has a history of treating women disgracefully. But what about you? Are you seeing any parallels between Kate's situation and what Diana and Megan went through? Comment down below and then check out this next video.